more stuff? It's been a long time since we last saw each other or spoke on the phone. Hello Sabine, I am very well. I give glory to God. Business is not that at all but I thank God. And you, how are you doing? Eric, this is not okay at all. I'm beyond sick. Everything is turned upside down in my life. Nights have become days for me because I no longer no sleep. I would like to ask you for your help. Sabine, I'm tired of you. If this is your Sam story again, I'm tired. I am really fed up. I'm not going to continue like this. I have my problems too. What does that mean? You're exaggerating with your Sam story. I believe that marriage cannot be forced. Go look elsewhere. Because of you, I don't get along with Sam anymore. That's enough. That is enough. Eric, that's not it at all. I didn't call you about Sam. I need your help. My company is bankrupt. The bank is about to seize it. I was given a few more months. I would like you to support me so that the company is not seized. Eric, please help me. It's impossible, I can't. You want my company to flow with yours. What you're asking of me is a big risk. I can never do it. Sabine, I'm sorry. Go get help elsewhere. I have a very urgent appointment. I think I'll leave you. Goodbye Sabine. Please Eric, help me. Do not abandon me. It's over for me. Kerch, it's going to be okay. We must fast and pray for God to intervene. Goodbye and good evening. <laughs> How are you my beautiful? You had a good day. I miss you a lot. You look very beautiful in your outfit. I'm doing very well Sam. I'm looking forward to a very nice day. I give glory to God. And you, tell me, how are you? And how did you spend the day? I'm doing great and had a great day. I give all the glory to God. Today I had a lot of visitors. I signed the contract with the Chinese today. God is so good. Thank you for your prayers. Really, I'm proud of you. Wow Sam, this is great. I give all the glory to God. God is truly good. Sam, I'm hungry. We're going to go eat. Yes, we're going to go eat but I have a surprise for you. Before I go to the restaurant, I'm going to take you somewhere. Don't worry, you'll eat right away. I've already ordered what we're going to eat, but please come with me somewhere urgently. Okay? No problem. I agree to accompany you. Okay, we can leave. The driver is waiting for us. Sam, it's far away. Where are we going? We haven't arrived yet. You closed my eyes with spray drape. I don't see. Anita, calm down. It is a surprise. You'll soon see what it is. Are you scared? Do you think I'm going to sell you? No, Sam, you can't sell me. I was really embarrassed. Everything is black. Anita, my dear, it's good. We're almost there. It's a big surprise. You will be very happy. In a few minutes, I'm going to take the band-aids off you. Sam, what is this again? You and your hide and seek games amuse me. Well, we're here. I'm going to take the plasters off you. But you're going to keep your eyes closed. You promised to do it. Yes, Sam. Don't worry. Open your eyes now, my dear. Why are we here? What are we looking for here? My dear, this is your new home. This is the house I took for you. Now this is where you're going to live with your mom. <laughs> What's going on Anita? You're weird. You don't like the house. You want us to change another house. It is not possible. I cannot believe it. Lord, you're great. I do not feel good. No Anita, what's wrong with you? Let's go sit down. Anita, what's wrong with you? You want us to go to the hospital. You scared me. How do you feel now? You don't like the house. We can move if you don't want to live here. I don't want anything bad to happen to you. Sam, 
I apologize for what just happened right now. I like the house. It's a very nice surprise that you made for me. Sam, home is home I told you. This is my dad's house. Oh well, that's not possible. God is great. I understand you. You were in shock. We'll go to the doctor afterwards to give you a checkup. Sam, if you saw how we were taken out of that house that day, it would make you feel pitiful. Many people were in front of their homes looking at us. Mom cried a lot. We have nowhere to go. It was an unknown uncle who took the room we are in today. Sam, it's too hard. Uncle Hilaire was there, but he didn't say anything. They asked him for help but he refused. Here I am again today. Thank you very much Sam. You are truly a light that God has sent into our lives. It'll be okay Kurt to you my dear. If the person decides to sell one day, we will buy it. Sam, who is the house for? I haven't seen the owner. A bailiff manages this. Okay God is great. Thank you very much Sam. My dear, there's no point in visiting the house anymore. You know it, it's your own house. Now we're going to leave. We're going to go eat. I gave instructions. Tomorrow you are going to make the move. Okay, I understand. As you wish my CEO. I do not like seeing you sad. I like to see you happy. You have to laugh to prove to me that you like the house. You too Sam. I like the house. Mom will be very happy. Okay now we can leave. Good evening mom, are you well? You had a good day. Good evening my daughter, I am fine. I give all the glory to God. I had a great day. And you, how are you doing? I have the impression that you are very happy this evening. Mom, I'm very happy. We are going to move. Sam took a house for us. He brought me into the house today. Tomorrow we are going to leave. It is not possible. Thank you Lord, glory and honor to you. Sam is very nice. God bless him. Mom, the house that Sam took for us is Dad's house. The one he bought and trusted it to a bailiff to rent. Oh Lord, my husband's house. I place everything in your hands, oh God. May all the glory come to you for all your benefits. Mom, stop thinking. God will do it. If God wants the house to come back to us again, God will do it. He will help us. Mom, Sam asked me to call Martin and Gilbert to help them. Glory to God, Martin and Gilbert will come out of suffering. Thanks my God. Lord, bless this gentleman. May all his blessings be unlimited in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 God is good. My darling big sister, we are going to move. Sam found us a house. Tomorrow we are going to move. Wow, that's great. I am very happy. God bless Mr. Sam. He's very nice. God bless him very much. He's too nice. You know Anita, I pray that Mr. Sam asks you to marry him. I want to see you happy my darling sister. <laughs> My dear sister, it's in God's hand. If it is God's will, I will say yes. <laughs> and finally, God answered my prayers. Thank you to the God of love for remembering me. Thank you for answering my prayer. Lord, you are good and faithful. Thank you for Anita's life. Thank you for being the woman you chose for me. I love it and I'm very proud of it. Give me the grace to care for her and her family. Thank you Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit told me that she is my wife, but I have to be patient a little to tell her this, because she is not yet ready. He promised to tell me when the time was right. Thank you Lord, I am very happy. And finally, I too am going to get married. Hello mom, how are you? You slept well? Hello daughter, I am well by the grace of God. I slept well. Since I have been in my husband's house, I have been sleeping very well. Thank you Anita, God bless you. I am very proud of you. And you, 
How are you doing? I'm doing very well, Mom. I am going to leave. The driver arrived. Goodbye, Mom. May the Lord be with you. Goodbye, my daughter. Have an excellent day. May the Holy Spirit help you. I love you, daughter. I love you too, Mom. Good evening, my beautiful Anita. Good evening, Sam. How are you? How did you spend the day? You are very happy today. Yes, my beautiful Anita. I'm very happy. God gave me a great gift. But I won't tell you now. I am your true friend. I'm your good friend, best friend and you hide things from me a lot now. You no longer trust me, Sam. Anita, please don't say that. You know that I love you and I am ready to do anything for you. You are still my best friend and I trust you. I'm not hiding anything from you. I'll tell you, believe me. But not today. But in a few weeks or months. Why in a few weeks or months? Do you want to get married? You're going to show me the girl. You don't want me to get married. Are you jealous? No, Sam, that's not it. But I'm going to miss you. Well, in a few weeks or months you will tell me. My brother say he will come this week. Okay, I understand. When I see you, I am very happy. Me too, Sam. Let's go sit down, my dear. Okay, see you. Anita, I noticed that this month, the moving company had some money coming in very strongly last month. What did you do? I made the change a lot. We are no longer looking for customers from drivers. Now, the drivers will pick up customers themselves. When the company does not have customers to give them, they remain without working, but at the end of the month, they will receive the salary. It doesn't help society. They are paid per hour now. Whoever works well during the week will receive a percentage or gift on the money they have made. They do not make any effort to make society prosper. If the company made the money or didn't make the money, at the end of the month we have to pay them. It's society that has a lot of the loss. Wow, congratulations. That's great. I told you, you can do it. You see how you accomplish feats. I'm proud of you. Thank you very much Sam for your support and compliments. I thank the Holy Spirit for everything and I thank you too. It's over for me. I'm screwed. How am I going to repay the company's money? I thought I would still have a little time to be able to collect the sum of $200,000. But now the CEO called me to tell me to prepare the papers, because the accountants will be there in 10 days. I am screwed. What will I do? I am forced to sell the house that the CEO rented. I'm going to ask the lawyer to propose to him. I'm going to sell this to him for $200,000. I have to pay lawyer his commission. I have to reimburse the CEO $54,000 from the rental money. How much will I have left? Where will I find the money to complete it? Really, it's over for me. If Ruth also finds out that it was me who bought my big brother's house from the bank, she will get angry. But I have to tell her the truth. I'm really screwed. If I get fired from the service, it's over for me. Tonight, things are going to heat up at home with Ruth. Wow my son, my treasure, it's been a long time. Hello mom, how are you? It's not possible, it's you. Martin my darling son, come into my arms. It's been a very long time. I am well my son by the grace of God. I give him all the glory. And you, how are you doing? And Gilbert your brother? Mom, I'm doing great. I give all the praise to God. Gilbert is also doing very well. He will be there when I leave. The boss said we both can't leave so he'll come after me. Mom, how is your health? My son, I am fine. I give all the glory to God. My health is fine. The Lord is at work. What he started, he will finish. Mom, God is truly wonderful. Who can imagine or believe that we will come back to live in Dad's house? This house, from which we were chased like animals. God is very powerful, even if we are rented, it may one day become our property again. 
I can't believe everything that's happening. God bless this Mr. Sam. My son, I don't know how to thank God. Sam is very nice. God came through him to save our entire family. For some time now, he has been buying my medications. He even planned to take me to his doctor for a general checkup. My son, God has wiped away my tears. I wish my husband was there to see his daughter, the one he always called the family legend. Your little sister has been through so much but, she made it through. Mom, she told us everything on the phone. I am very proud of her. Mr. Sam asked us to come so he could help us too. Yes, I know. Anita told me that. Tell me my son, you are not hungry. No mom, it's okay. I'm so glad I'm not hungry. I have to hit the Gilberts to tell him I arrived safely. But where is your phone? Mom, I don't have a phone. Gilbert and I have a telephone together. We contributed to buy it otherwise we couldn't get by. The two of us do everything together. When you are united and are sincere and truthful with each other, you can achieve success very quickly. I left the phone with Gilbert, because he will need it more than me. I'm proud of you. I bless the Lord for this intimacy, this love that there is between my children. Martin, I noticed that your English has improved a lot. You speak well. How did you do? God did it. When we got the laptop, we decided to learn English on calculations. It was through social networks that we learned English. Mom, it hasn't been easy, but we give glory to God because He has not abandoned us. I bless God who works all things good in His time. May all the glory go to Him. Amen. Mom, I'm going to rest. I feel very tired. Please Mom, where's your cell phone? I charged it in my room. You can go take it. Okay Mom, I understand. Mom, why doesn't Anita marry Mr. Sam? She will be very happy. My son, the will of God is above all. Yes, you're right. See you later. See you later, my son. My darling, I would like to talk to you. I have something very important to tell you. Ah, good. What is going on? The CEO called me to warn me that the accountants will be there in 10 days. I have a solution but I'm not sure it will solve the problem. It's already a step. Tell me, what is the solution? I would like to sell my house. I rented it out for just a few weeks, but I have to sell it. I decided to tell lawyer so that he could make them the proposal. Which house are you talking about? You no longer have a house apart from the one we live in as far as I know. You built another house in secret. So you hid your true face from me. My darling. It's not at all what you think. I didn't build a house at all. Okay, you didn't build a house. What house do you want to sell? It's a gift we gave you. Please Ruth, I will tell the truth but don't get angry. This is my big brother's house. I paid the bank and got the house back. You killed me. I am dead. I'm short of breath. God, come to my aid. God, help me, I beg you. I didn't know you were so mean. I can never imagine you could do that. He wanders, lately I discover who you really are. You had the nerve to buy your big brother's house and kick out his wife and children. The house that your big brother guaranteed to the bank to be able to take out a loan to send you to continue your studies in Europe. Your brother couldn't pay off the loan before he died, so you paid the bank and got the house back. You have no heart. You are too mean. So it was you who sent the bailiffs to come and take them out of the house, knowing full well that they have nowhere to go. That day, they cried and screamed. They asked you for help but you remained unresponsive and indifferent. You didn't react. He's wandering, I'm sorry but I have to tell you the truth. Your big brother loves you but you never loved him. You are nothing but a hypocrite, a selfish person, an ungrateful person. You do not have a heart. You have disappointed me. I'm not going to condone you because you're my husband. If that's why you can divorce me. I'm not going to see black and say it's white. You broke my heart. I woke up in the mornings to beg you, I cried for you to help your brother's wife and her children but you refused. God knows I did my part. As for selling the house, that's your problem, I'm not in it. When you were buying it, you didn't ask my opinion. 
God does not like wickedness. Even if we are not Christian, God has given us a conscience. God has written his laws in the heart of every man. All human beings know evil and good. Ruth, please forgive me. Don't get angry with me. Forgive me, Ruth. I beg you, I need you. I forgive you, but regarding this house, I have nothing to tell you. I'm not going to get involved in this matter. Go do what please you. You've gone too far. I understood what you said. I think I'm going to go to work. Let's see you tonight. See you later. See you later. Good evening, Mr. Lawyer. How are you? Hello, Mr. Hiller. I am fine, thank you. And you? I am very well, thank you. What do I owe the honor of your visit this morning? Mr. Lawyer, I came to see you regarding the house that we have rented out. I would like to sell it. I have a problem that I need to resolve urgently in six or seven days so I need money. Is it possible for you to make the proposal to the CEO, Mr. Sam? Today I can't see him because I have appointments that I have to honor. Tomorrow, I will go see him to make the proposal. How much does the house cost? It amounts to $200,000. Okay, I'll let him know and get back to you. I inform you that my commission amounts to 20%. Okay, I understand. I think I'm going to leave. Goodbye and see you tomorrow for the answer. Goodbye, Mr. Hiller. Good evening, Mom. How are you? You had a good day. Sam greets you. Good evening, my darling daughter. I am very well. I had a great day. And you? I received greetings from Sam. He is fine. I'm fine, Mom. I give all the glory to God. Sam is doing great. He was the one who brought me back into the house. We were at the restaurant. I give glory to God. Where is Martin, my big brother? He is coming. He just went to the kitchen to put down the glass. My darling sister, you are there. How are you doing? Big brother Martin, I'm fine. I give all the glory to God. And you? I'm also fine, my darling sister. I give all the praise to God. How is my brother Gilbert? He is doing very well. He greets you. He will be there when I leave. How is Mr. Sam? Sam is doing very well. We went to the restaurant. He was the one who brought me home. My sister, I am proud of you. Really, I'm very happy with you. You bring joy to the whole family. God bless Mr. Sam. Big brother, he is very nice. Tomorrow you are going to meet him. Big brother, I'm very tired. I'm going to go shower and come back to chat with you. Okay, I understand. See you later. See you later. Hello, Mr. CEO. Hello, Mr. Lawyer. How are you doing? I'm fine, Mr. CEO. You asked to see me. What is going on? It was the owner of the house who came to see me yesterday to tell me that he would like to sell the house because he has a serious problem to resolve in six days. I thought maybe you would be interested. Ah oh, well, you did well to make me the offer. Indeed, I am very interested. How much is he selling it for? It's $200,000. Oh well, tell him I am going to pay $150,000, because $200,000 is too much. We also gave him $60,000 for the rental, but we only did it for two months. Okay, I'll tell him that and get back to you. I'll call you on the phone. Okay, I understand. If he accepts, that means we owe him $96,000. Yes, Mr. CEO, the account is good. I think I'll leave you. Goodbye, CEO. Goodbye, lawyer. Hello, Mr. Sam. Hello, Martin. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. I give all the glory to God. And you? I am also very well. I thank God. How is Gilbert? Gilbert is doing very well. It is a great joy for me to meet you, Mr. Sam. The joy is shared. I would like to take this opportunity to sincerely thank you for everything you do to our sister and the whole family. 
God bless you. Amen. Let us give glory to God. I asked your sister to call you to come see me so we can discuss your situation. You are not going to stay on this agricultural farm your whole life. Your situation needs to change. You are called to be heads of households one day. And you're going to take care of your families. What do you want to do? I am ready to help you even if you have to leave the country. I will do it by the grace of God. Don't be afraid. Open your heart and tell me everything you want to do. Really thank you mister for the attention you give to the whole family Gilbert and they always wanted to be great fashion designers. Stylists, model makers and costume designers. We will dress great personalities. Wow! But it's great. Well I'm going to do some research on this and I'm going to send you to Europe. You will leave in three or four weeks at most. We must no longer waste time. You're going back to the farm. You will both stop work and come back so that we can take the necessary steps. We will prepare your papers. I expect you in three days. Mr. Sam, are you telling the truth? It is not possible. Gilbert and I are going to Europe. Yes, it's true. I'm not joking. That is the real truth. Take $5,000 for your travels. And come back quickly. We must not delay. Great Gilbert for me. I like you very much. Thank you so much. God bless you. It's okay Martin, don't cry. God has wiped away your tears. He changed your pains, your afflictions into happiness and joy. Amen, thank you very much. I think I'm going to go back to the farm today. I'm going to go grab my things from home and leave so Gilbert and I can get back in time. Goodbye Mr. Sam. Goodbye Martin. The driver is waiting for you. He's going to take you home. Mom, God is all powerful. I'm back but I won't be long. I'm going to leave so I can come back in three days with Gilbert. Ah good. Why are you leaving so early? What did Mr. Sam say to you? Mr. Sam is going to send Gilbert and me to Europe to train as a stylist, model maker and costume designer. It is not possible. And Lord, I give you all the glory. Thank you very much Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Mom, I'm going to leave you. Be well. Many good things to Gloria. Don't forget to report back to Anita. I will not miss it. May the Lord protect you. I love you. You say a lot of things to Gilbert on my behalf. Amen. We love you too, Mom. I will not miss it. My beauty, are you here? How splendid you look tonight. The men didn't look at you much. Thanks, Sam. You look great too. Why are you asking me that? Are you jealous? Sam is jealous. Sam is jealous. Sam is jealous. No, Anita. It's just a question. Are you sure? That's not true. Sam is jealous. Yes, I am sure. This is not at all false. Do you want me to be jealous? No, that's not it. You had a good day. Yes, my CEO. I give glory to God and you. I had a great day and I have some good news to tell you. Oh, well, I'm very happy for that. Sam, you are truly a rare gem. I thank you with all my heart. You are special. I love you so much. Thanks for Martin and Gilbert. You too, forget about it. Anita, the owner of the house has decided to sell the house. You are going to take back your father's house. Wow Sam, that's not possible. Sam, you're telling me the truth. Yes my dear, I'm telling you the truth. Thank you Sam. You are truly a treasure. You great. How much did he say the price? Don't worry about the money, I'll take care of it. We're going to pay him $150,000, but we're going to subtract the money we gave for the allowance. He owes us $54,000. We're going to give him $96,000. They will come by the day after tomorrow to finalize things. I'll give you the money, because you'll be the one signing the papers. I will be there just to assist you. Okay, 
I understand. Thanks, Sam. I'm at a loss for words. Mom will be very happy. She cried so much about it. Anita, I would like to go to a restaurant this evening. I have something to tell you. No tonight. No problem, my CEO. What do you want to tell me? Tell me now. Okay tonight. You want to tell me what you promised to tell me in a few months. How do you know? Anita, I love you very much. I blessed the day I met you. I only guessed. I love you very much too. I give praise to God for the day you came into my life. Anita, you know you are very beautiful. You are splendid. I give glory to God for bringing you into my life. How did you find tonight's party? You liked it. Sam, you are very handsome too. I give glory to God for our meeting. Really, I don't have words to say this. Sam, you know tonight's party is different from all the other parties. Anita, the difference is that tonight I want to tell you that I love you and I want with all my heart for you to become my wife. Anita, will you become my wife? I will fill you with joy. Yes Sam, I love you too and I agree with all my heart to become your wife. You marked my life forever. I say thank you to God for giving me a man like you. It is a great joy for me to bear your name. It's only been two months since I knew you were the man of my life. I love you very much Sam. I love you too Anita. Thank you for accepting me into your life. I am very happy. Who is the woman who can say no to you? There is no. I am very happy. Thank you for never being ashamed of me. Brothers and sisters part 8 of this series coming. Brothers and sisters, that's it all for this video. If you like this video, feel free to like it, comment and share around you so that many souls be saved and restored. And don't forget to subscribe to the Sentinel channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless you.